Hi guys. Hi. God bless you on this beautiful Tuesday. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So good once again to be back on and finish. We're finishing our Bible reading. Mm-hmm. In the book of Proverbs. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. And uh, I don't take it lightly that uh, you guys are joining. I don't take it lightly that uh, you take time out of your uh, busy schedule to watch our broadcast. We don't take that lightly because, as I said before, there are so many men and awesome men and women of God, and you could... Uh, you could be taking time out and uh, supporting either one of them. So we don't take it lightly. So we say thank you. From the bottom of our hearts, we say thank you. To God be the glory. Mm -hmm. I'm just just excited today. Just excited. Mm -hmm. Just excited. Just excited. Yeah. Okay, did I tell you who I was? My name is Dr. Erling Harris Young. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, we're going to uh, finish, no, not finish, but we're going to uh, continue our Bible reading of the book of Proverbs. And we're on chapter 16. It's going to go from verses 1 to 33. Uh huh. Father God, we thank you. We just said thank you. Once again, we're not going to ask for anything. We just said thank you. We just say thank you. Thank you. In Jesus. Amen. All right, guys. We're not going to tarry, as my mother-in-law Ira used to say. We're not going to tarry. We, we're going to move it right along. Proverbs chapter 16. And it reads as thus. To man belong the plans of the heart. Mm. But from the Lord comes the reply of the tongue. Uh-huh. All a man's ways seem innocent to him. But motives are weighed by the Lord. Mm. Commit to the Lord. Woo, my God, I felt that. Commit to the Lord whatever you do. And your listen, this is it. And your plans will succeed. Uh-huh. Yeah. The Lord works out everything for his own end, even the wicked for a day of disaster. Hear me, hear this. The Lord detests all the proud of heart. Be sure of this. They will not go unpunished. Through love and faithfulness, sin is atoned for. Woo! Hallelujah! Through the Fear of the Lord, a man avoids evil. Yeah, uh-huh. When a man's ways are pleasing to the Lord, woo, he makes even his enemies live at peace with him. Better a little with righteousness than much gain with injustice. In his heart, a man plans his course, but the Lord determines his steps. The lips of a king speak as an oracle, and his mouth should not betray justice. Honest scales and balances are from the Lord. All the weights in the bag are of his making. Kings detest wrongdoing, for a throne is established through righteousness. Kings take pleasure in honest lips. They value a man who speaks the truth. Uh-huh. A king's wrath is a messenger of death. Mm. But a wise man will appease it. When a king's face brightens, it means life. His favor is like a rain cloud in spring. How much better to get wisdom than gold? Mm. To choose understanding rather than silver. The highway of the upright avoids evil. 
He who guards his way guards his life. Pride goes before destruction. A haughty spirit before a fall. Better to be lowly in spirit and among the oppressed than to share to than to share plunder with the proud. Whoever gives, gives heed to instruction prospers. And blessed is he who trusts in the Lord. The wise in <clears throat> the wise in heart are called discerning. And pleasant words promote instruction. Understanding is a fountain of life to those who have it. But folly brings punishment to fools. Mm -hmm. A wise man's heart guides his mouth. And his lips promote instruction. Pleasant words are a honeycomb. Sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. There is a way that seems right to a man, but in the end it leads to death. The laborer's appetite works for him. His hunger drives him on. A scoundrel plots evil. And his speech is like a scorching fire. A perverse man stirs up dissension, and a gossip separates close friends. A violent man entices his neighbor and leads him down a path that is not good. He who winks with his eye is plotting perversity. He who purses his lips is bent on evil. Gray hair is a crown of splendor. It is attained by a righteous life. Better a patient man than a warrior, a man who controls his temper, than one who takes a city. The lot is cast into the lamp, but, but its every decision is from the Lord. The Lord's word is already blessed. God's word for God's people. Hallelujah. All right, guys, that concludes uh, our Bible reading of the book of Proverbs for today. I will see you again tomorrow. And I am, I know why I'm excited. I just remembered. I know why. Our, our war ministry mega fest slash uh, ministry church launch, relaunch. Is coming together so beautifully. God is orchestrating our steps. And we are excited about it. And we pray that uh, you will join us. And we, uh, are, uh, we are working on doing a tour. We will be touring different cities. And uh, we just, we just going to... We're just going to let the Lord lead and guide us. Wherever he tells us to go, we're going. And we're excited about it. And everything is working. Everything is just coming together. We're just so excited. And uh, we will be doing more flyers. If you've noticed on my Facebook page and my Instagram, we are uh, promoting the event. Um, and we're, we're putting up on different flyers. I don't want to put the same flyers out. We're, we're doing different flyers. We, we're trying to be creative with these flyers. And we're excited about it. And, uh, you know, I see some flyers and I, uh, well, we have so many talented uh, graphic designers uh, in the kingdom. And, uh, but you know what? When you can teach yourself how to use uh, different uh, programs and, and um, hey, you can design any any flyer, any kind of flyer you want, free of charge. And that's what we're doing. We're, we're, we're using our own creativity and we're letting the Holy Spirit guide us. And, and so we, we want something original. All right, listen, listen, listen. God bless you. God keep you. I will see you guys again tomorrow. 
And uh, look, why don't you uh, share share the broadcast if somebody you know that needs to be uplifted and and uh, could be blessed and uh, be nourished by uh, what we are reading and teaching. Share it. I love you with the love of Christ. Have a wonderful evening, and we will see you guys again tomorrow.